First and foremost, I'm a hairdresser. But for me, hair is something that is, uh, you create it and it's gone. Over the years, me and Anthony have talked quite a bit about one of the sort of haunting truths of hair as a creative medium is that it's so vulnerable to elemental forces. A bit more to the right, forget her. Uh, I had this idea where I wanted to go from uh, black hair, really quite strong and dramatic, and then rain washes the hair out into bright colours. Simple idea, but a complicated process. And that's really why I needed to work with Michael. I've been working with Michael Lindsay now for the last 15 years. We've been doing a lot of films together. One of the things that was most exciting about this project is Anthony wasn't looking to make a film that built to a particular look or style. What he was really interested in doing was dramatizing a crazy transformation from a dark, inky image. Again. Again. Into something vibrant and colorful. Oh, it's fantastic. Right. And this, from a sort of hair point of view, it's, it's not really possible to go from black hair to bright, colourful hair. I've been working with Brie now for about three, four years. You can literally do anything you want on her hair. She's very, very confident. And she's also a performance artist. She really goes for it. What she's capable of doing with her body and, and, and the way that she controls the space. Oh, that's brilliant. brilliant. She gets it. She understands. She knows how to make it look great. It was really important the storm didn't just act upon her. By using a little bit of what I would call horror grammar, we reinforced the idea that she is the powerful agent at work here. This is all born deep within her and through her primal, animalistic performance. She is able to bring out the final image. I'm a photographer. In the past, what's frustrated me is that we do the stills and we do the film. We don't always capture the same thing. Now we're at a stage with 8K that with the film, you can then capture those moments of stills all the way through. And I think it's probably the future for me in the way that I'll do photography.